the Store Magic booth at Citrix Synergy 2018. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about the company and what you're showing here at sure. Citrix Synergy? Very happy to. Uh, so Store Magic uh, has a virtual SAN. Our virtual SAN enables two server hyper-converged infrastructure. We're Citrix ready, um, and our customers are typically uh, ed have edge environments like retailers, healthcare, manufacturing, uh, energy, um, government organizations, they have distributed IT, um, or they have smaller data centers, SMEs with smaller data center requirements. Uh, we're at Citrix Synergy talking about the work we've recently done with Citrix around the Citrix Cloud and our work on the Citrix Cloud Connector. So SoulMagic is now a Citrix Workspace Appliance Partner um, and we make it really easy for our customers to connect to the Citrix Cloud and configure these two server hyperconverged solutions to connect straight to the Citrix Cloud and run their Citrix workloads either at the edge or in their smaller data center requirements. Um, we've also announced this week our work with Cisco. So what's happening now is that the customers are finding that the reasons they put their workloads in the data center um, is starting to affect user experience in some cases because of network challenge or they're generating quite a lot of data at the edge where the desktops needs to be close to that data, okay? Or they have data sovereignty issues where the desktop needs to be at the edge close to that data. So we've announced with Cisco this week the first Citrix workspace appliance for the edge. And our friend Lucas from Cisco is going to be talking about that in a moment. But what I'd like to do though is maybe go a little bit uh, into a little bit more detail with our technology and introduce Lee Bushen, who's going to do just that. So what are you going to show us? Okay, so as John said, this is a two-node solution. If you take a look at this example here, this is running on standard commodity-based hardware, whatever's good for the hardware compatibility list of your hypervisor. We run on any type of hardware. We also run on any type of storage, whether it's standard spindle disks, whether it's SSDs, whether it's flash storage. Okay, we, we support all of those solutions. What SV SAN does is it sits underneath the hypervisor and it exposes the local storage on these two nodes just via standard iSCSI. So as far as the hypervisor is concerned, it's just a standard SAN you're talking to. Now, as well as data being written to the local storage on the machine, it's also mirrored across to the other node for consistency. And only when the two mirrors are in sync does it acknowledge back to the hypervisor that's happened. Great thing about this is you can now run virtual machines on top of this. If there's a failure or something like some plan maintenance you want to do, you can move virtual machines across the other node using standard migration technology, live migration technology. If there's a failure of the server itself, we can use the standard HA technology in VMware or, or vSphere or Hyper-V uh, to, to actually restart those virtual machines on another node. Now, one of the issues with two-node solutions is often that there's, there's, there isn't a second, a, a third witness, you like, if you like. Um, so if the, the two sides of the cluster lose connectivity with each other, then you can end up with data in, inconsistency. So what we have is a technology called a neutral storage host that sits at a remote or a uh, centralized location and can actually manage up to a thousand clusters in a thousand different locations. So not only do you manage your whole solution from standard tools that you already have in place, like vCenter or System Center VMN, but also we can manage the quorum and, and the consistency of data as well, um, up to a thousand, as I mentioned. So what we're here today, and what we're talking about this week at Synergy, is a solution that we've put together with Cisco and Citrix um, around UCS E-Series blades running inside ISR 4000 routers. Uh, it's a great solution, it's an out-of-the-box solution. You can take this, plug it into a branch office, and very, very quickly be up and running with virtual desktops. The way it works is you, you ship it out to a branch, you get an IT person at that branch to turn it on, all they do is run a little wizard, and that connects up to Citrix Cloud. I'd like to show you that wizard in action, just to show you uh, that. Okay. So here's, uh, here's the wizard itself. So all this wizard does is it connects to Citrix Cloud and allows this appliance to be used just the same way as a normal resource location would, would be used in Citrix Cloud. We use the customer ID and their, their API keys to log in. We hit verify connection to Citrix Cloud. We decide after this what server we want to install the Citrix Cloud Connector onto, and then we're up and running in about five minutes. We can provision workstations, um, either VDI images or shared um, hosted desktop images down to that appliance and be up and running really, really quickly. Awesome. 
Okay, thank you very much, Lee. Now let me uh, introduce you to Lucas Hansen, and Lucas is going to take you through the Cisco ISR and E-Series server blaze, which uh, are being deployed at the edge as Citrix Workspace Appliances. So what are you going to show us? Hey, so I want to talk about the UCSC series server blade uh, and how it sits inside our ISRs, our integrated service routers at Cisco. Um, so, so E series is pretty special in that it, it enables our customers to get a converged compute, networking, and storage platform all into one one RU or two RU chassis. So, if you're a, if you're a company. I guarantee you that you know it's really likely that you're going to have some type of ISR at your branch, which makes it a really good opportunity for the E-Series Blade. And I'll go into the E-Series Blade a little bit right now, but as you can see on our, our routers, we have all our traditional connectivity. Um, this one has a switch port module. We have LTE. Some customers uh, will, are trending towards LTE for uh, alternate links, but also in some cases primary links if the site's remote or they need to get a site up quickly. And then we have an SSD drive uh, because there is compute native to the ISR. We, we do have at least one core if you have a small application that can run on the ISR without a server at all. Um, so if we dive into the UCSC series, this is our double wide uh, blade. So it is the UCSE 180D M3. We have three form factors or three different models of UCSE. We have a single wide, which will take up half the slot or half the size. And then we have two double wides. The single wide has 12, or I'm sorry, six cores. Uh, and then our double wides have eight and 12 cores. Um, we can go up to 16 terabytes of SSD storage. So in this, this one right here, I have four 960 gigs SSDs. The disk drives are always hot swappable, so you can take them out, put them back in while the server is running. Um, we can go up to 128 gigs of RAM. We have four DIMM slots here. Uh, here's where the we have a Broadwell chipset from Intel, and then our RAID controller can do zero, one, and five or ten of RAID. And this model has a super capacitor uh, in case you need that. And then on the front panel, we have two 10 gig ports. Um, we have two USB uh, ports, and then we have uh, out of band management uh, for the server. So customers typically get the UCSC because they need converged infrastructure at the branch. They want to reduce the number of servers or other appliances they have. You can put on virtual network functions if you want to virtualize your firewall. But in the case of, of our data center customers, they're putting on any application. It's a server just like any other server. Um, it takes all the major hypervisors, and uh, we also do a lot of different solutions with partners. So StoreMagic's a great partner that we have, uh, and they have an SV SAN solution, and then they also just recently came out with the Cloud Connector solution. So it's perfect for this use case where customers need to push workloads out to the edge, and they can put it right on the UCSC server. Well, thanks for taking the time to uh, show that to VM blog. You bet. Thank you.